and so pretty much what happened is we just drove six hours out to the middle of Australia which is pretty cool um, and what I'm going to be doing today is I've been wanting to come on this trip for years now and today is the day we're going to do it we're staying out here for about three days and what my plan is to catch the Murray Cod now this species oh don't even get me started it's been a species I've wanted to catch since I was five years old and on this trip I'm hopefully going to be able to catch a big one now these fish they can go well over one and a half meters long and weigh as much as 100 kilos so hopefully we can catch a big one for you guys we've got some yabbies as bait we just went and chucked the yabby pots I'll show you a short clip of that right now so since we're actually trying to target some Murray cod the best bait for these is either the lures or yabbies so we're gonna chuck these yabby pots in this little pool here hopefully there's some yabbies in there and chuck them on the line and hopefully it'll produce some nice big cod so let's chuck it in Take a look at that. Oh my, there's a giant yabby in here. Look at that. That's the biggest yabby we got so far. It's a blue claw. Yeah, big blue claw. You can see those blue claws there. There's a lot of carp in this one. Oh, look at that. That's all introduced carp. That's crazy. Big yabby. Now the other techniques we're gonna use is we're gonna use worms and even cheese. These Murray Cod, they love everything. So hopefully we can catch a big one today. Let's start fishing. So what I've done now is I've casted one of the yabbies out and we've got the jackal pompadour here. Now this is made for cod. So pretty much what it does, you cast it out like that Bait casters are the best rods to use for these cod lures. So what you wanna do is slow roll it back in and it will make a bit of a jumping action along the surface of the lure, mimicking either a big cicada, injured bird or anything like that. And the cod will often come up, get fully out of the water. You'll see a big tail slap and get him. So hopefully I can get my first cod today, which would be really cool. And there's been cod in this river, caught up to one meter long. So if we get anything near that, I'll be extremely happy. So after casting until my arms fell off and not even catching one single fish, I decided to come back in a few hours to see if they were biting then, this time with some worms as bait. Yep. Right. Am I on? I'm on. We got a fish. What is it? Oh. Oh. It's a giant carp. Take a look at that. He's barely hooked. There we go, we got him. Take a look at that, European carp. You can see that, put on a whole lot of worms, probably a bit too much, but you saw that carp just engulfed that. Now these carp, they can get well over 70 centimeters and we caught a massive one the other day. I'll show you a short clip of that right now. Right, so I had a hand line in, sadly I wasn't filming, but we managed to catch this massive carp. Now it's actually illegal to put these carp back in Australia and you can get fined quite a bit of money for that because they're an introduced pest. But take a look at that big fella. He is the biggest carp I've ever seen and caught. Now the thing is, if I were to put it back in the water, I could be applied with a giant fine of up to $3,000 and we don't want that. So we're actually gonna have to kill it and put it on the bank. You're not allowed to eat it, only allowed to put him on the bank. So we, will sadly not be able to release this beautiful specimen. Now over in different countries, these are actually a bit of a delicacy, but nah, they've been introduced here in Australia and they compete with all the native Australian fish and basically destroy the waterways, which is why you have to actually put them on the bank. So I do understand that, but it's a bit of a shame seeing a fish like this go to waste. So it's starting to rain, so I really don't like our chances of catching a cod today. But luckily, we've got one more day tomorrow to be able to catch this amazing fish two whole days without catching one cod. It's a bit disappointing. So we're just getting touches here. We've got a yabby on, and I don't know if it's a yellow belly carp or hopefully a cod. Oh, I think it's taking me into a snag. Come on. This could be a cod. I'm only using 14 pound line at the moment, so. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know if we'll actually land it, 
But yeah, he's definitely coming in. This could be a big cod or a yellow belly. So the fish ended up swimming into a snag and after 20 minutes of trying to land him, luckily he swam out just as tired as I was. Oh, look at that. We got a Murray cod. Oh my God. I literally came down here, chucked a crayfish on the hook and we caught this big fella. Oh, oh I'm shaking. This is the first Murray cod I've ever caught and it's like 70 centimeters. I gotta get it up to here. But take a look at that, my first Murray cod ever on a fishing rod. And look at that, that is the biggest fish. That's the biggest fish I've caught in a while. And he'd be 60, 70 centimeters, something like that. And take a look at him, that is so cool. The fish that we came out west to catch, six hour drive out here, and it's all been so worth it. Now I've been wanting to catch this fish for so long. It's been a fish on my bucket list for probably about five years now. And take a look at that. We managed to catch one right here, which is so cool. And look at that, that's the biggest Murray cod I've ever caught, which is also the first Murray cod I've ever caught. I'm like speechless, this is so cool. So as night fell over the outback, all I could dream about was catching more Murray Cod. So that next morning I woke up at 5am, chucked the pompadour lure on and started fishing. And take a look at what I caught. Alright, so it was the last day of the trip. We had, we have to actually leave in probably about 3 hours. So I came out this morning with my rod and reel and managed to catch this and one other big Murray Cod. Now this is so cool. This has been a fish I've wanted to catch for so long. And look at this, this weekend we've managed to catch three of them. And take a look at that. That Murray Cod would probably be 70 or something centimeters. I'm not really sure about the size, but let me know in the comments below, cause that is so cool. And um, pretty much what happened is I cast him a rod out. It came buffed up the surface and we managed to catch him. So now we're just gonna release him. All right, so we had about five minutes left before we had to actually leave, and I packed up all the car, everything, went down to the river, had one last cast. I chucked some worms on the hook, casted it out, and within about two minutes, this big fella was on. He took a whole lot of worms. You can see that hook right in the corner of his mouth there. Now, sorry I wasn't filming all the catches for all these cod, but um, I've just been having too much fun. But next time I come out here, I'll be sure to film much more catches, because um, these fish, they're just incredible. You can see this one, he's probably 60 or something centimeters. Meters. I'm not very good at estimating, but still take a look at that. A really nice Murray Cod right there. We're gonna let this guy go, pack up the car, head back home, start to edit this video so you guys can all see it. But yeah, another big Murray Cod. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was probably one of the best trips I've ever had since we just caught so many fish. I think by the end of it, we managed to catch four cod, the biggest being 81 centimeters and the smallest was actually only 72 centimeters, which is pretty good because they are very big cod. We did manage to catch those two carp. You saw them in the video. That big one would have to be up there in the 60s. It was a very big fish. And I also managed to catch two yellow belly. I didn't put them in the video because I didn't think they were as exciting as the other clips. As you can see up on the screen right now, they are a very cool looking fish. So before I go any further, I just wanted to say, it would mean heaps if you went and checked out my Instagram account. And if you do that, you actually get to see a bit of behind the scene footage before I actually upload it onto my YouTube channel. Like um, posted photos of the big cod before I actually uploaded this video onto my YouTube channel. So it would mean heaps if you went and gave me a follow there and I'll be following random people. So if you're lucky enough to get in one of the first spots, I'll try to follow as many people as I can. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. It helps me a lot and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribing to my YouTube channel is free, so don't worry about anything like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Hey, Macarena! Hey, Macarena! Hey.